In this video, we'll introduce you to our Go, No-Go task, or what we call fish and sharks with children. It's an inhibition task, which requires our ability to overcome an urge or an impulse. In this task, children are introduced to fish, and they're told they need to catch the fish. And these fish are fast. They're also introduced to sharks, they don't want to catch the sharks because they might nibble their finger. Now these are all mixed together, so what the child has to do is catch the fish and avoid the sharks. There's a lot more fish than there are sharks, so children get into the habit of tapping the screen. They need to overcome this habit whenever they see a shark. The efficiency with which they can overcome that tap is our measure of inhibition. As highlighted in our intro video, the role of the data collector is to ensure a child's engagement and motivation in the task. Enthusiasm is contagious, so be enthusiastic. What we don't want to do is sit back and let the iPad do all of the work. At the same time, we don't want to overhelp. We want this to be the child's best possible performance, but it needs to be the child's performance. So here are some general tips and tricks to help you in administration of this task. If you're unfamiliar to the child, try and build rapport beforehand. Be enthusiastic yourself. And don't overhelp. For instance, in the Go No Go task, you can reiterate the instructions, but wouldn't want to say, look, there's a fish, catch it. In our own research, we found that children enjoy playing these games. But we've also learned to expect the unexpected. So we thought we'd give you some insight into some of the things that we've encountered and how we address them. If a child is pressing the screen continually, reiterate the instructions to catch the fish and avoid the sharks. Okay, remember, we just touch them when we see them. So just touch the fishes when we see them. Good girl. Well done. If a child gets distracted, draw their attention back to the game. Ready? The fish is coming. We don't want to miss them. Can we get all of them? Watch the screen. On occasion, a child might play the opposite game, trying to catch the sharks and not catch the fish. Reiterate the rules and perhaps stress that they get points for every fish they catch and lose points when they catch a shark. So remember, we have to just touch the fishies, not the sharks, okay? So if we touch the sharks, we lose points. We want to get as many points as we can, don't we? Yeah, okay, so can we just touch the fishies and not the sharks? Yeah, can you show me how well you can go? Okay, good girl. Or, on very rare occasions, sometimes they won't want to finish the game. Are we, go Are we done yet? Okay, we've got one more turn. Do you think you can just do one more turn? Yeah? Okay. Good girl. We created each of the apps for easy data collection. There are a number of different options or ways that you can get access to that data. If your preference is to use a database, the apps can submit data straight to a user-defined database, and we've provided some sample source code to help you develop this. We've also provided the contact of our own database developer, who can create a database from the model he created for us. If your preference is to get the data by email, specify that in the iMenu, and you can get the results sent to a user-specified email address. Or, if the apps are only being used for brief screening or assessment purposes, you can use the score that's provided on the end screen. However, we'd caution that this score is derived from unprocessed data, so we'd not advise using this score for more formalized assessment or research purposes. Thank you for your interest in the Early Years Toolbox. We hope you have as much fun using it as we had developing it and using it ourselves.